The government has launched a new Eat Out to Help Out campaign, which starts today. Uh, if you're a customer and you eat out on a Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, you will get a 50% discount uh, if you dine in a participating restaurant, OK? Yeah. So this is a scheme designed to uh, boost the struggling hospitality industry, which is really struggling. And it's going to run until the 31st of August. What are the rules? How will it work? What restaurants are taking part? Do you have to have a voucher? All these questions are coming up. So Alice Beer is in Swindon this morning at a KFC, which I have to say, Alice, I thought takeaway restaurants, uh, uh, they, they things weren't they included. In but this is they sit in. in too. They're not. So if you take away your food, it, you don't get the discount, in theory. If you eat in, you do get the discount. And that is one of the rules that has to apply. And that is also one of the rules that's going to be really difficult for organisations, businesses like this to manage. So, yeah, I'm at KFC uh, in West Swindon. It's the Delta Park retail and uh, business park just to the west of Swindon. Um, this KFC opened its drive through in May and was phenomenally busy. But actual footfall since it reopened for customers eating in three weeks ago has been really low, like the rest of the hospitality industry. I mean, they have taken a massive hit in the first quarter of the year. Hospitality sales were down 87 percent. That is actually 30 billion pounds. It's our third biggest employer. So we really needed to do something as a nation to help the hospitality industry for the jobs and for that money and for the business to start turning over. So we were told to stay at home. We were told to clap our healthcare workers. We were told to socially distance. And now we are being told to eat out to help out. So our chancellor says, Rishi Tunak says, eat out to help out, as you said, on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, on any week through August up until the 31st of August, and you will get a 50% discount on your bill. That is without alcohol, without service charge, and up to a maximum of £10 per head. So what does it mean? Let's have a little look. I'm at KFC. It's a little early for a KFC. You have to eat in. That's the deal. You've got to eat in. Um, and many businesses you will be asked to order in advance, um, to um, place a, a reservation in advance, because obviously they've got to maintain social distancing. So I want my discount. Uh, I'm going to have... Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to have a bucket for one. I'm going to have a boneless banquet. I'll have some coleslaw, sweet chilli, and a regular Diet Coke. Uh, come on, chaps. And no thanks, none of that. And here is my discount. It is... Two ninety nine down from five ninety nine. So as a customer, what do I have to do? Just turn up or reserve your table, then turn up, and the discount will be applied. You don't need a voucher. You don't need to declare you're part of the scheme. You will automatically get that discount whether you're buying a coffee in Starbucks or a, a four course meal in a Michelin starred restaurant. What does the business have to do? Well, they have to register for the scheme. And some 53,000 businesses have registered across the UK. But anything from your fast foods, your KFCs, your pret a mangers your, your Starbucks, right up to all those Michelin-starred restaurants, 47 out of 61, sorry, 41 out of 67 Michelin-starred restaurants have signed up for the scheme. So this is about all types of food, all types businesses. The business has to be registered with the Food Standards Agency. They'll apply the, the discount and then you'll get it. Is it going to work? Is it going to help? Well, I think much of it will depend on the business getting their money back. Once they've given you the discount, they have to get the money back from the government. The government have said they'll get that within five working days. If they don't do that, then cash flow is going to suffer. But for people eating out, I think it will help. I think it will encourage people to get out. I mean, the, the discounts are pretty big. You know, a pret manger sandwich goes down to £1.35. Um, at Scots of Mayfair, if you had the fish of the day, that would be £38. That's now £19. You know, 50%, up to a maximum of £10 per head, is a lot for a family of four eating a £20 meal each you know, your discount's going to be £40 off an £80 bill. That's, that's enormous. Um, so I hope it makes a difference. Uh, will it drive people to the right kind of restaurants? Who knows? But I, will it drive people to restaurants and cafes and hotels and bars and canteens? We hope so, because that is the point. Right. Talking about driving, are you telling me then if I 
queue up to go through a drive-through takeaway like KFC mm -hmm. I'm paying double on a Monday, no Tuesday... Discount. Yeah. yeah, so I'm paying double on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday than I would if I parked the car and went indoors. Yes, absolutely. But, of course, there's going to be little loopholes. So if you park the car, pop inside and say, yes, I'm going to have my takeaway here, actually, and you, I'm going to have my, my meal here, and you sit down, and as soon as the, you know, the backs are turned, you hoof it back to your car, they're not going to come running after you. How can they? They can't manage this. They can't police this. So, of course, there will be little loopholes that I'm sure customers will find. But, no, it is eat in only because we want people to come back out and feel safe. Yeah, I suppose it's getting people out as well into the high street, isn't it? So if you go, I mean, obviously that's on a business park, there might be other retail stores there. So if you go out mm. to get your cheaper meal, then you might go next door and buy something. You might yeah. go to the coffee shop afterwards. So that's the idea okay. is to get everybody out on the right, street. Right, get more. the idea. Alice, thank you very much indeed from uh, okay. KFC in Swindon there. Uh, we go to Steve Miller. Uh, Alice was saying, Steve, that um, the benefits uh, to, to uh, eateries is enormous, but then so is a lot of the people who are going through the doors as well. And that is, that is your concern. It's a big concern. Come on. I mean... What did we have last week? Let, you know, the government telling us, let's ban advertising. Let's, let's stop the promotion of junk food and um, bog off offers and all of that sort of thing. And yet today, guess what? We can all go for a great chow down and we can all stuff ourselves senseless for a fraction of the money. So actually it's double standards. But I don't begrudge people having, you know, a discount. What the government could have done, and they've, they've lost a big opportunity here, is what they could have done, of course, was to say, send out a directive to say, these are three standard, very healthy meals. Put those on your menu. We will fund a 50% discount to actually start to encourage people to eat well. But no, what do they do? We can all go and stuff ourselves with chips and burgers and chicken See, and there might be, whatever. There might be people that eat well all week, OK? They're really healthy, they cook at home, and once a week they want to go out with the family for a treat, a little junk food treat. There's no harm in that once a week, I'm assuming. No. Um, and and they get that discount, that takes them out onto the high street, they might go somewhere else and get a coffee, they might buy something in, in a local shop. So it's not just about fast food and filling your face, is it? There are also healthy options on a lot of restaurant menus. Ooh. Well, I'm not so sure, Ruth. I think we're going to be filling our faces. But you're right. I don't begrudge anyone. I've always said live 80, 20, 80 percent healthily and 20 percent a bit of what you fancy. Unfortunately, we know the nation doesn't quite do that. I tell you what's worrying as well. This could be a ticket to an early grave for some people. And this is serious. If you get covid and you are too fat, you are three times more likely to die, you are seven times more likely to be put on a ventilator. So this is actually quite serious stuff. We're motivating the nation for a month to arguably eat junk food and put their health in jeopardy. So I would say to people, yes, absolutely have a treat, but control those treats, because otherwise you're going to be piling it on. I hear what you're saying, Steve, but... Um... Also, there is an obligation uh, from the government to keep the economy afloat as well. And the Chancellor has said uh, this scheme's number one aim, number one aim, he said, is to help protect the jobs of 1.8 million chefs, waiters and restaurateurs by boosting demand and getting customers through the door. So that's... Should, yeah. yeah. Listen, reshape the menu, guys. Reshape the menu. How long would it have took... Um, the Chancellor to sit down, come up with, you know, consult some professionals, come up with half a dozen great, healthy, simplistic dishes, throw them on the menus, right, direct it out, and then give everyone a 50% discount. Not a problem. Great idea. But encouraging people to eat junk, when last week we're told, actually, eating junk, we've got to cut down on that, and your bog-offs are gone, it's double standards. Well, double standards or, I mean, would you have been encouraged or, or more encouraged by the get-on-your-bike scheme? You know, we'll give you 50 quid voucher to do up your bike, pump up your tyres, get a mudguard on and get out on the road. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. And, and, and here we're talking about, of course, a £2 billion um, suggested investments in bike lanes. £2 billion quid when we've got people living with dementia 
who have to sell their own homes. Come on, we got to get our priorities right. By claims, no, we can get out for a walk and start eating more fresh air. Um, do you accept in any way that this scheme, this eat out, help out, may have been better if it had have been more bespoke, uh, tailored towards uh, little shops off the high street or little restaurants off the high street, independent restaurants, rather than big fast food chains in the high street? I think all of them, Eamon, all of them, you know, if it would, if we'd have took a step back and thought, OK, we've launched an anti-obesity strategy, how, and, and it's basically a behaviour change strategy, how do we encourage people to start eating well? Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can offer some great um, uh, suggested meals that we, you know, help the pubs and whatever to put on their menu, really motivate the nation to to enjoy them. And that would have complemented the obesity strategy. But we haven't done that. What we've done is said, you know, have your chocolate fudge cake and your chips and your burgers. We're going to give you 50 percent off and uh, up to a tenner and, and go and enjoy it. I think, you know, it's like telling people to eat their grave. OK, Steve, thank you yes, very much thank indeed. Very Those much. are sobering words. Eat your eat grave. Eat your grave. That is very sobering.